Israel's attack on Natanz reveals Iran's nuclear duplicity. With the destruction of the underground part of the nuclear enrichment facility at Natanz, Israel's shadow war against Iran, which has been escalating for some time, has reached its climax for the time being. On April 11, Iran reported an incident at the Natanz nuclear facility that completely shut down its power supply. Initially, no explanation was given. However, on the very next day, several Iranian officials spoke of sabotage by a terrorist attack. Iranian leaders initially tried to create the impression that the damage was minimal and claimed that the plant's full capacity would soon be restored. One reason for playing down the incident was to not grant Israel, which was soon named as the cause of the attack, any triumph. But it was all to no avail. By the third day, when more reliable reports on the damage started to appear, the flow of information could no longer be contained. The attempted trivialization of the incident came to an end when the former head of the Iranian Atomic Energy Authority, Baraz Kamalvandi, reported on Iranian television from his hospital bed that while inspecting the plant he had suddenly fallen into a seven-meter deep hole and had injured himself considerably. Another televised statement by Ali Reza Zakani, the head of the Iranian parliament's research center, according to which the explosion had destroyed thousands of centrifuges, underscored that what happened at Natanz was much more than a mere incident. Meanwhile, the facts have become clearer. It appears that the Israeli intelligence service Mossad, possibly with the help of Iranian anti-government groups, had been able to smuggle an explosive device into the Natanz uranium enrichment facility and detonated it remotely. The Natanz uranium enrichment plant is a complex of six buildings, covering an area of 220,000 square meters. The actual production facility consists of two halls dug eight meters deep into the earth. In 2004, the ceiling of the underground hall was hardened by several meters of reinforced concrete and about 25 meters of soil. This information about Natanz is reliable, as the project had been monitored by satellites as well as by Israeli tourists from its very beginning. Initial uncertainties about the true purpose of the plant resulted from the fact that Iran would usually hide its nuclear facilities underground. By contrast, Natanz sported a large facility above ground, which the Iranians obviously wanted to protect by an extremely robust ceiling. 